Aren't we? Lovely fish. What a booty. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Lovely job. Another trip. Gonna go somewhere new today. Gonna go somewhere it's about just over an hour away. And it's called Bramerton and we're gonna go down to the Woods End part. So what I'll do is I'll keep bringing you in and out, showing you bits and pieces on the way. I'll show you down the track and through past the pubs and the edge of the river and stuff like that on the way in. Because that's quite a nice part. But let's do the journey in Hopefully catch some fish. Yeah! So as you can probably tell, it's very, very windy today. 40 plus mile an hour winds. Trees coming down all over the place. Wheelie bins flying about. You can see a trampoline flying across the field. <laughs>
jubbly, all filled up. Grab the mini packer MS sausage rolls. That'll keep us going for a little bit. Probably be out for what, four or six hours. Right, let's get on with the journey. So that's all the bit of the dill carriageway all sorted and that part of the journey all done. You know coming through the little lanes. We'll be down by the river pretty soon. Just at the bottom of this road. So a nice area to come down and have a meal and stuff like that as well. Not just fishing, lots of boats more up as well. Definitely worth an explore if you want a day out, go for a walk, that sort of thing. I'm going to be doing a lot more exploring around the broads, different areas that I haven't been to this year as well. I've already been looking, got lots of new spots. All in the notes and stuff so I know exactly where I'm going to be going and stuff. never ending really that traveling around the boards there's all sorts of things to see and once I get my boat on the water as well my big boat there'll be even more to see be able to see all the places that you can get to by boat that you can't buy car which will be cool Down the bottom here then. Looking at all these woods and stuff like that, I bet there's loads of deers and foxes and animals all in this woods and heaths and stuff. Probably all sorts to see. Loads of nice walks and stuff. Danny yourself and you fish Danny yourself let us know in the comments below how you get on and what methods you use and what you catch we can compare notes <laughs> well, I can see some umbrellas and stuff that's the bit where you sit and have your meal and your beers and stuff means the river's right there. It's looking quite nice to me. The bumps down here are really, really rough, so be careful when you're doing that. Oh, got people out there water skiing. There's actually a water skiing area to the left there. You wouldn't think it on the boards, would you? But there's actually a little area there where you're actually allowed to go water skiing. It's not looking too bad. We're going to have a bit of wind, but we knew that. Tide's quite low down, which is a bit of a shame, but nothing we can do about that. Got a fishing time we've got available. As you can probably see, you know, just see the top of these boats when the tide's in. That'll come up another mm, about half a meter. Not sure if it's going down or up today. Some lovely holiday homes to my right. I think you can rent some of these out as well. 
if you're coming down this way, this bump in front of me here doesn't look much, but on the other side, the road's all sunk. So go over it very slowly, or you end up with your back axle on the floor. <laughs> I've done it twice myself already. That makes it right scrape. see us a nice area. Oh, some people are cruising down the river on boats already. Didn't think there'd be too many people out today with the high winds, but some people still go out. We've got to hope we can get one of the three swims now. Basically where I am now to my left there's three different swims along the bank. There's a whole woods end bit up here where you can park your boat and stuff like that but you're not allowed to fish until winter which is a bit of a pain. People do but we're not going to. Oh there's actually someone in my swim. Damn! So as you can clearly see on that sign there, it says no fishing at this time of year, but as you saw, there's plenty of people fishing on there already, but we're not going to. I don't want to get loads of stick in the comments and stuff. We're going to fish on the swims in the river where you're meant to. So I'll try and show you later on the main swim I was going to go in. Look, there's one here. You have to climb down the bank as you can see. Might have a little go in there but it's very very tight. Hard to cast in and stuff. And then there's a bigger one this side. Should probably make more sense. It's going to put us in the wind a little bit but we could always go down there till the tide comes up. That'll take us out of the wind, give us lots of options to fish under the trees and stuff. It's fairly shallow, close in around here, though. So, let's get some gear out and try some different methods and see what fish we can find. So, this is us all sat in there, got the feeder right over here ready to go out, got the drop shot and rod to the side there. Filming gears all there, cameras, lenses, phone, all sorts all in the bag, baits. So, welcome in. Let's see what we can do. We'll put a feeder out in the middle work our way back in or across what we need to do. Trying to stay out of this wind, not too bad down here. Hopefully you can hear me. Gonna put some worms on this drop shot rig. Show you this. If you're not sure what a drop shot is, it's basically a, you have a weight, all different sizes and different shapes on the bottom. 
hook that sticks out to the side like so and then you put worms or a fake little rubber fish on there etc. I'll do another video explaining that another day. We'll do a how-to one. Put that on the channel. Got loads of nice juicy worms. You end up with a rig like that with a nice wiggly worm. You haven't got a trace that's actually connected to the line. And then what you do is you basically put it in and gently bob it around, flicking the worm like so to see if you can get a bite. We'll do a bit of that in a minute. Put that down there. We'll get the feeder. Uh, I think we'll put the feeder on a worm to start with as well. Watch out for boats coming down the river. You can probably see the speedboat down there, I'm not sure. Gotta be careful, I might even get a bite just down the side here. <laughs> Don't know how deep it is there. I've never fished here before. So, hard to tell. We'll soon work things out. The swim of water fish is a bit further down that way, but. More near the car, but this one's quite nice to be fair. So, working a worm on, like so. Got the feeder. Yeah. Got two lots of feed here today, different ones. Got Andy Tigger Fishing's one, which is that one there, he used. Because he's not going to use it up, so he won't be to use it before it goes off. I've got my own one here, which I'll use first. Obviously I'm confident in that and I know what it does. Oh, we're getting a bite on the old drop shot down here. Then. I think we've even got a fish on it. <laughs> this down there into the... I'm going to go like just off the centre with this to start with. Put it there. Give you some different angles later on so you can see some bites and stuff. I think we've got a fish on here. Oh, we did it. We had a little perch. We even got the bait. So let's get a worm on again. It's clearly going to work. Thought it might. It's that sort of place. Thought I'd do something a little bit different. Because I'm doing a lot of feeder fishing because I like doing feeder fishing in the board. So I thought I'd do a different method. This is called drop shot. Worm on again. Just have a little knock around down here and see if we can entice some fish, shall we? Just wipe your hands. Basically you just tap it around and try and entice a perch. Yeah, intended targets. Got a bite. Something's found it. Give it a little flick. Make some grab hold of it. Quite shy right down here. I'm surprised they're that close in. It's all good. We'll go further out. On. It's only small, but it shows how good the method is. The good thing about the hooks being like this, they can't swallow it. The old perch like to do that. <laughs> You're getting fishy. I know it's only tiny, but there you go, Mr. Perch. Let's have another go and see if we can get one a lot bigger. Q20 
twitching and shaking the worm and then just stop. They're quite often like so, they'll take the bait. If they stop, just give it a little flick, just a nudge it. Oh, and you would uh, get a bite like that if I missed it. Instead of tap on the feeder rod. See that in the corner of my eye then. Fish just crashed on the surface over there, I reckon they're right. There. Give it a little while to sink here because it's quite deep. little turns on the rail or just a little tap at the tip of the rod. You need the right sort of rod for this sort of thing. I'm using a savage gear and rail. Very nice light tip. You've got a tap on the feeder. I think it's just a small fish. Been round for Bream to Sitting there struggling with my eyes, I need to get me sunglasses, I think. Certainly don't need this, it's very hot. Ugh. Bit tight down here, the room, but. So we've got the old sunnies on, let's get back down here with this. The feet are already just tapping. But... Attacking the feeder. Recast with that in a minute. Let's see if we can get another fish on here. So we go to the tree, shall we? I don't know where any snags or anything are under here, but. find out if there is any. It's fish on the surface.
work out and just catch every single cast. To make the fish want to take it and find the fish in the first place. Well, before it did, that was a really vicious bite. I reckon that was a good perch. On a smaller one, yeah, You have to try and get the worm sort of a fair bit of it on the hook, or they just pull the ends off. You don't actually hook them. These drop shot hooks are fairly big, to be fair. But that's good in a way because. I said they don't swallow it. Just need a little recast with this feeder, I think. Still got bait, which I'm surprised about. We're getting little taps. We've got to build up a swim, we ain't got the bait out there yet, the ground bait was. Take a little while to get it going properly. Let's see, we've got a flow going that way at the moment. Let's see if we can get one of these fish down here. They're definitely in that same spot most of the time. Awkward, you've got nowhere to put your feet. It's a bit, bit of a tight spot. Not bad to move my chair back to that. Good boy. <laughs> Not good enough to hook up with anything there. Look, damn. Some of the smaller fish just drag it worm. Good knock on the feeder. I see any trouble fishing two rods. <laughs> Little fish jump. There's a really good rattle on the feeder and now it's stuck. It's still there. <laughs> I'm getting a bite literally down here. I'm going to pump that just there for a second. I'm going to this feeder. Hopefully we'll hook up. Or we'll, once I get this out and settled later on, we've had a couple of fish on there. We'll fish the feeder more seriously and we'll, once we get a bit of bait going out there, we should hopefully attract the shoulder fish. The really sharp bite I've got, so I'm guessing that was a roach. It's still there. Might be attacking the feeder.
bring you around this side in a little while and show you some bites and stuff. Hopefully we can get this one. I think we missed it, unless it's tiny. No, we missed it. Damn. Good little knock as well. Just got a very basic rig on here today. Just literally a sliding feeder between two weights and about a foot hook length. But I do actually make up rigs and have certain rigs that I normally put on the bottom of these. So I'll show you that in a, another video. Because I'm changing these all over to braid at the moment. I've done this one, which I absolutely love. Put um, the J braid on there, which is absolutely excellent. I've got a bite on that rod actually. <laughs> oh, damn! We had a half decent fish on. What happened there? That's the thing, concentrate with two rods. was quite a nice perch that was. You can see it because the water's nice and clear down here and I've obviously got the Polaroids on. We can see quite way into the water. We can actually see the bottom down the edge, no problem. A bit further out, where it's three, four foot into the weed. Bugs are on me off the trees now. Right, let's have a, see if we can get this perch just knocking us about down here. They're normally in a, some sort of shoal, there's normally a few of them. Oh, straight away. That one just went as well. <laughs> let's concentrate on this one for a minute. Feel every little vibration, every little tap, every little fish is just grabbing the worm. Like that. <laughs> fish on. Got the net there, but I think we can just about lift this one. Yeah. Once they get sort of much bigger than that, you really want to just get the net in on them. Think of these hooks there, really good. They just go in the side of the lip, and you don't get no problems. Let's see if we'll let us hold him. Oh, feeder rod's really rattling. <laughs> Come on, fishy. There we go, Mr. Perch. Nothing too huge, but another fish, and that's what it's all about. Obviously, that'd be lovely if we get a much bigger one. Some really good bites on this feeder, but we're not hooking up because I'm not concentrating properly. I don't think I might just move the feeder slightly further away from the, the hook length in a minute. I might have to reset that because I've got it fixed. But at least we've got some fish feeding out there, which will be good for later on when it all calms down and we have our little evening session on the feeder. I'm just waiting for saying that it's quite overcast, it's not not bright to be fair. It's ideal really. That'll get even better in the next two hours. And then we'll we'll come off this and concentrate on the feeder. Just wanted to catch a few like this and just show you a different method. Oh look at that. It's thumping already. Really bumping. That's probably hooked that one. Yeah. Shouldn't get a bite that 
close in, but we might do. Let's see if this is on, because it's absolutely pumping. Let's see what the culprit is. The culprit is a little perch. <laughs> Tiny little baby one. Quite cute, but not what we're after. See, that's the difference. When you ain't got, when you got them big hooks, the little perch take it right in, which is not what you want. Yeah, it can be a pain to get out as well. Let's move the hook to the front. That's good enough for me to get it. Oh, good job. Just a little tiny one. And away it goes. <laughs> Went off like a rock. <laughs> so we got perch out in the middle of the river there as well. We'll put this out with no feed this time and see what we get, shall we? and we had a bite down there because that leaked me new worm. <laughs> I'm going to go for a much smaller worm this time and just see if we can hook up a lot easier. There we go just down there. It's quite deep. What? One length and a half out, this is a seven foot rod. Someone's shouting about down there. <laughs> they're, they're very impressed with the old skiing boat. It's an actual proper skiing area there. There we go. Little boat. That was a bit close to me, wasn't it? It <laughs> comes straight out of the water. Got the worm though, didn't it? The crafty. Ooh, that's right line again. That's basically how the worm, worm had the hooks set. Nice and sideways. Oh, that one's bumping. That's better, you want it kicking out like that, not actual sideways. get for a, quite a lot of worms doing this you want a big tub one of the big tubs in there 899 something like that for 100 odd normally i'd chop these up but i haven't got the old scissors with me right now if we can find a nice big one. Ooh, <laughs> that one's bumping. That's fine, didn't it? I'm guessing that fish is on because that's really something. Good fun fishing two rods there. Eh? Oh, look at this man. Oh, nearly had a fish on both rods at the same time, man. That would have been cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> I've actually done that in France before with two 30 pound carp. That was pretty crazy. And he had to come around and give me a hand and take one off. Take one of the rods off me. Right, I'm going to put some corn on to stop the perch feeding on this rod and then if I do go then that'll be a three more attention than like that hopefully. A nice roach.
Going back to those in the feed are lovely. Spot on. So we're sort of feeding just before the probably half a rod length before the centre and then the actual centre. So I can I'm trying to draw the fish this way and get them just out of the middle flow. so far, don't scare the shoals too much, etc. Oh. I don't know how we can miss some of these points, this boom 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 boom. Fun fishing two rods at the same time, do two different methods. <laughs> Makes you really alert what's going on, watching that one, watching this one. You certainly don't get bored. Not that I get bored sitting on the boards anyway, I quite happily sit back and look at the scenery. But I know if that one going now, that should be a good fish. Not many perch takes weak one. Deep right in front of me. Got a big like, reed bed in front of me, so I haven't really. Oh, here we go, got a fish on it though. This is a better one. Just around the edge of the wee bed I was with that one. I'm on a net for this really. Uh, I reckon I can just lift it. Normally I'd net it. Ooh. Much better fish, love. Oh. See the hook just pops out. Such a good method. Ow. There we go. Just a perch. Lovely job. Let's get him back. A little tiddler. Feel every little vibration on this braid, it's really nice. 
tiny just hooked in the side of them. But <laughs> whoa! He decided to go for a jump in a ground bait. Try not to put your fish back into exactly where you're fishing, try and put them up river or down river slightly. Tiny little bit of worm on now. I'm going to try that. Just see what it does, just in case. I keep thinking there's a boat coming, but it's not. That's the speedboat whipping up and down the river. Oh, that <laughs> went literally went straight away. Crazy. Right, let's spin you around so you can see the feeder rod as well, shall we? is really happening on the sweet corn at the moment. Definitely need your boots down in the swims like this, they're really muddy because when the tides dry up the wall comes onto here. Especially on really big tides. Debris coming down river, branches, whole roots, and all sorts of stuff. Let's see what's down here this time, then, shall we? So, we really want, you know, that's what, um, what Andy was using the other day. Let me finish it off what he had. Just very just see my worms. <laughs> Will be three plus foot down. Every little tap, see him flutter. Be nice to see a fish go. <laughs> Agitator. 
Seem to have moved from down there. Let's go over here a bit. Let me know if the old tip go. <laughs> Perch have moved a bit. It's all part of this method, you have to just cover as much water as you can. Looking around. Some weeds there. All right, let's have a go down to this side of this. We haven't tried that yet. Oh, big bite on that. Whoa! Lovely bite. Something bumped on that then. I have my bait already. Right? Oh, that was nearly ripped out of the hand. I mean, it's still there, whatever that is. That's there, uh, hitting the feeder. Don't seem to get anything different. I'm certainly keep trying. Got a big boat coming down the road.
little taps just to wake up that boat. Did have a few tugs on this when it was down there. When, when I picked it up, there was a fish. Fish are on. <laughs> they give such a good little bite. I really want to get through these and find some big ones. But I do like the bites. Thank you, little fishy. Always check the hook afterwards when you get a bite. Quite often, don't kick out to the side; they move. Another boat coming down the river. Getting a bit more busy now. Trees are certainly flapping them out. Bed over to the area, you can feel it dragging through. Round and more up just down there, but that's me. Ginger have moved, can't get a bite now. Maybe the boats have disturbed him a bit. Still got plenty of bait. Alright, let's go. Let's 
cover some distance, shall we? Let's get out of there. Get it on the bottom. Just take a little while for it to sink because we've only got a tiny weight on. See, there's all sorts of weed coming through, and bits of branch, and all sorts from this wind. Just making sure nothing's getting loose and going to come down on my head. <laughs> Pretty rough out there. Probably don't look at here, but that's the idea. That's why I'm down here. <laughs> we had a good bite then. Same time. <laughs> We've got a little perch as well. Little perchy. Can't seem to get anything else. Alright, let's try a different spot. Change species for us. Be careful, elves of the boat. Don't seem to be able to find out where that. 
shawl of perch are gone now. We found a couple out there, didn't we? But can't seem to find out where they moved to now. Excuse me, <laughs> the old hay fever. <coughs> That's the trouble, once I start, I end up sneezing like 50 times. trouble fishing out in the middle. Gotta get past all the, the massive bits of debris coming down the river.
So, bait boys today, we've got the old sweet corn. Loads of worms. One of my mixers. Some wrigglers. Just put a lovely half a bucket of ground bait out. So, um, just over a quarter of the way across for the old feeder so it's probably about eight balls decent sized cricket balls so hopefully that will start to build a swim ready to fish some big baits on this feeder Mr. Heron over there, standing on the edge of the river, waiting to dive in for his dinner. Probably going to go after some of them rod and roach that keep surfacing. So I'm still getting plenty of perch on the old drop shot. Just thought I'd bring you in and show you one. I'll show you a few more in and out of the video as well. We just put the feeder rod out. We're taking that a bit more serious now. We've got a little ground bait and that down there. We've got big baits on it, double corn, stuff like that. So let's see if we can get some bites. Well, we just landed a roach. First fish out on the feeder out there. Starting to get a few bites where we ground baited up. It's quite a nice fish. Not a bad start. And here we go. Mr. Roachy. Lovely jubbly. Rain on me now, which is a bit of a pain. We have got the boiler in the car, we've got to walk back and go and get it. So we've got both feeder rods out now. Got a tiny short hook lengths on them. So we feed out each cast again now. This is the first cast that's going to be the feeders. So we set the rail in and we'll recast. And hopefully we should start getting some bites.
there and keep some corn in the middle. Big rod at that end of the ground bait. Small rod at this end of the ground bait. Not for time well. I've got the longer one, a bit too short, not really out. There's plenty of fish coming up on the surface and stuff. It's still quite windy, but it's a bit down in the middle of the gift there. There's more I can Bugs everywhere now. <laughs> Getting a bit chilly now the sun's gone down or going down. before for speed of fishing, so that's interesting. Point should be good. Shame the wind bounce anything about, but I'm doing the best I can. Oh, 
we'll see about it. Good 10, 12 foot. on the big rod then. Which one's going to go first? Feed it and that's just, just tapping the rods in. You know when you get a, a proper bang. Look, little bug blending on him, getting under a load of trees. Definitely there on a small rod, it's just coping. Needed to take it round. Could be bream and swim in the tail to hit the line and stuff like that. And tension, that sort of thing. Could even be debris just going down the river. Doesn't look like it, it's more like it. Probably not. It's definitely not hectic, it's not big short of fish down there at the moment. But I may have overfed a bit.
across the different bait in a minute and then we'll see how that goes. Push on everyone. Only a small one, I think. Yeah. Just a little perch. Can't seem to get past it. We're getting the odd roach. We have a few nice roach and then we're just getting lots of these little perch. Give her up. Nice fish. Is it poaching? No bream or tench or nothing like that turned up yet. While we found, you know, while we whacked in a load of ground bait. But you can only catch what bites. I'm getting on, getting on the spot. So it's going to be snaggy down there and weedy, so this is. You just want some bigger fish to move in, that's it. <laughs> getting a bit chilly, I might have to get in the car in a minute and get me a suit. It's getting quite cold. Bugs coming down here, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Probably every five to ten minutes. I've got a bite on the rubber just for hours in already. I'm going to guess a poet just found that big worm already. That's a really good knock, that's probably his work. Going short, just see if there was anything sitting close in. Has it really done anything? Will be now on. 
Still got a point on there. Long word, but not confidently taking it now. Oh, we've got a point on that word now, bro. <laughs> Come on, people. Roach and attacking it, but they're not getting hooked. We've got fish jumping out on the surface. Not very big fish, most of them. Still massive, or huge amounts of. Weed and vines and stuff going down around into the pain. We're not picking up too much on the lines though, which is fairly good. Give me a bit of weed and stuff, but not to worry about too much. Was the gun, but not enough to cook into anything. Well, I can tell there's lots and lots of small fish here. Just had a little rough come in on <laughs> one of the worm baits. Can't seem to find any bigger fish. Mr. Perch coming in. Not bad fish. Lovely germly.
Nice bite. Look at that. That was good timing, wasn't it? <laughs> Slack line before it looks at it. Let's see if we can get it. Getting some good bites on the wheel. Look at that. Getting some good bites on this long rod. It's pumping well. I'm going to let it go a little bit. I've had two or three bites like this now and I'm not hooking up. That's slack line this time, so let's see if we can get it. Looks like a roach. Looks like a bit of fish. It's actually quite locked in. Oh, <laughs> come off right there. Oh, no way. That was a nice net and we'll the rope. Oh, damn. Get back out of there while they're down. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> that would have been a shame, wouldn't it? Well, it was a shame. <laughs> Getting the body quite quick, so. See if that happened again. I had him you know, free on the trot within a few seconds of car. So. Worse than being on the on a spot you don't feel as confident as being on. Quickly this time. Sun's now going sort of down in the background over there, but it's not very good to be fair, it's not a great sunset.
Still plenty of fish rising. Only a little rub in there. I've got a little pike on my feet. Quite chilly sitting there now. I could just walk down the road and get the suit really. Oh, big wide gun, so it doesn't take long. And the pump. It's on. Right over there. <laughs> you sometimes you just got to have a go and just see if there's a, a shoal in a different area, even though I've fed all there. To the fed and area was a place that they don't like hanging out. <laughs> big old, quite big for a rough to be fair. We had a few of these on the board, so it's been quite good for Well, I'm not the first as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm still, I'm not sure yet. There you go, this is rough. <laughs> oh. Oh, the rod's going. Jump, 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 and get it. Pretty good. Pump again and then we'll whack it on. It's on. We've got a, a roach pipe. As many it is. So. <laughs> Not all jaggedy like this. Yeah, it's hard to tell, I think. See if the pipes go a bit crazy sometimes, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good net for that one. Don't get me wrong, it's not crazy, but it's nice. Not bad, not bad at all. Lovely job. Hopefully they'll keep getting bigger and bigger. I'm quite happy with that. Keep touching the top of the boat. I'm having to grab my towel. Put this line on top or whatever. So we're, we're finding some bigger roach, but don't seem to be able to find anything above that. Okay, yeah. Roach are pretty cool. I've had some big ones in my time. Most years on the board. Nice to get some plonkers tonight if they're out there. Fish on both boards within a couple of minutes, isn't it? I'm going to flick it back out over that way again. Just because of the rough down there and there ain't something else out of it. Pretty surprised that the baited spot has got some bream and stuff on that. Maybe they don't feed till after dark. Who knows? New spot. <laughs> Completely new part of the board. Miles and miles away from where I normally fish. Sometimes I'm 
sometimes you just have to land the spot. So I'm not pretty good at finding the bigger fish and working my way around the river and finding the shoals. I think I can safely say I don't think there's any bream down in front of them. No? It's taking long to get a bite now, starting to tell, which is a good thing. It'd be nice if we can find some bigger ones. <laughs> Fish on. It's a lovely bite, but I bet you that's one of them rubs. Or a small perch. Such good fun with the braid. Feel every little thing. Every little thing feels like a shark. <laughs> There you go, another rough. Pump on the rod, it feels really good. It's good fun. Good day. I might have some people to further up now, turned up and setting up, so maybe this is the time of night to be here. Big down there on, on all the bait we put out there. Not yet, anyway. Spot on calf down for where we get that big rope spot. Let's see if we can find something down there quickly. We'll come back down on this bait. Oh, whoa, that'd be great. Right, right, right. <laughs> Good show on. The action is starting to hot up a bit. But it's not on one of them rough. I don't mind catching them, but you know, I've catched another stuff. Oh, there's something different. Yeah. That's good. Hey. That's right. Yeah. Not the species I was expecting, not the pattern, we we'll get there. It's nice to get some big brain attention. Don't we? We are getting bottles and we are getting fish. Right. 
Come on, go for it again and uh, even when we got through. Well, I'm getting plenty of bites. I'm getting quite a few of them rough I've been showing you, and I've had a few more roach. But believe it or not, just down there. There's two people swimming <laughs> on little belly board type things. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
if I'm doing that good. <laughs> Really big fish, Ryan. Don't know what they are. I don't know if they're little jack pike or. Another jelly. Or. What they are. They're certainly not at the bottom of the season. They ain't small. You see them splash. And they've been, yeah, probably four or five now. Plenty of small ones, but four or five of them have been really decent. Trying to find the two big ones now. Might well, definitely be handy for well, situations like this. <laughs> well, I've got no headlamp or nothing like that. Left it all at home. Got the rod. Lights and stuff like that with me either. That's plenty more enough to do all sorts. It's almost making them much more than a little bit of sailor. <laughs> well, we've got something on here, guys. Uh, pull them back. Is it all good? A long time coming. What have we got? Mr. Breen. Oh, and he found the Breen. Nice. Ooh. Not bad, not bad. Oh, it could come out. Oh, that was a lucky one. Did you see one up there? Hold him up for you. Lovely job. Mr. Breen. Awesome. Took a long while to get him. <laughs> but we did. Let's put him back and see if he's got any mates. Wow, the old tide's been really coming in. I didn't even realise till I just see water coming up onto the bank through there. It's come up a good half a metre and it's now starting to come under here. It's going to wash us off a bank. <laughs> good job I noticed that. I was a bit getting wet. <laughs> We've taken up fairly soon now anyway. I'm just going to have a last couple of casts. Now I know my lights and stuff are good. I've got my light right over there at the moment. And I've got it on like, I think it's on 24%, something like that. That's mega bright. <laughs> Rod's over here. Well, Mr. Rough. <laughs> getting a few of these, I just thought I'd bring one in and show you again. I'm getting washed right off the bank here. It's really coming in starting to cover my feet and stuff so I think I'm going to call it a night before I get completely washed off so I'm going to literally come all the way along here and I won't be able to do anything it's coming in very quickly as well every sort of I don't know every five minutes it's getting deeper and deeper so I'm going to move all the stuff back and stop myself from getting flooded off a bank <laughs> everyone I thought I'd just show you what's what I'm up on the 
much higher bank up the top here. I was fishing down there. And as you can see, the water's covering all the bank and down there where the light is. <laughs> so if you do fish here, this whole bank will get completely flooded out. But there is some steps, which I'm now going to go down and get me light. Then we'll go down them and walk through the water. And I'll show you the steps on the way up. They're not really steps, they're roots, but that's where you walk up. And that takes you up to the top. <laughs> Which is hard work with your lights. <laughs> All the filming gear. Whew. And we are back at the car. Stuff is everywhere. <laughs> the car is absolutely full of all sorts. Need a good old sort out. Whew. So we're back in the car. So we got washed off the bank. <laughs> I mean I could have fished from up the top here but it's so windy. The idea was to get down the bottom of the bank and get so the wing went over my head. So that wouldn't have made sense for me to come up the top here, you wouldn't be able to hear me speak or anything. So, hope you enjoyed that. I've now got the hour, sort of hour, 15 minute journey home. Looking forward to something to eat. I mean, eating to like that, six, seven hours now. <laughs> it's been a while. Nice hot chocolate sounds good as well. So, appreciate you watching. Thanks very much. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if this is the sort of thing you like. I do all sorts of things on the channel, so definitely worth a look. And I'll see everyone in another video or another live very soon. So hope you all have a good week. I'll see you soon, everyone. See you later. Bye for now.